from Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. It's a voice you know and love. Hi again, everybody. Tom Hamilton. For the past 33 years, one thing has remained consistent with baseball here in Cleveland. Tom Hamilton. To do it in a city like Cleveland is extra special because people care. Over those three decades, he has called some of the most iconic moments in Cleveland sports history. A swing and a liner back up. Yeah, not many people are as fortunate as I have been uh, to love what they do for a living. But his love for broadcasting started not on the ball field, but on the farm. It started as a little guy um, living on a dairy farm in Wisconsin. You know, I'd be listening to Milwaukee Braves games um, literally on a transistor radio to think about going to places like New York and Cleveland and Chicago and Boston that that kind of almost seemed like you know, the Wizard of Oz. Fast forward to today, Tom continues to live out that childhood dream every day in the booth. I am so lucky to every day get up in the morning and I can't wait to go to work. A kid from Wisconsin who has found a home in Cleveland and now a forever home in Cleveland sports history as this week he was inducted into the Greater Cleveland Sports Hall of Fame and is up for the Ford C. Frick Award, which honors the top broadcaster in baseball. This is kind of surreal to even be mentioned with some of those people. It's an honor. It's humbling. And while the honors are nice, for Tom, the greatest honor he can imagine is making the final call of the season as World Series champions. Not for himself, though, but for the fans of Northeast Ohio. It's not about me making the call. I would love to see a World Series championship and a parade for Northeast Ohio. For the fans that, you know, have lived through the ups and downs, I'm employed by the Cleveland Indians, but I'm also employed by the fans.